actors are easy targets to make fun of and I think it's always fun for people to make fun of themselves. It shows an openness and a sense of humor about about what you do as opposed to taking yourself too seriously. You know, I really am serious about my career, but it's it's funny to say to people and fun to say to people, hey, I don't think I'm the greatest person in the world. I can make fun of who I am. It's amazing, you know? These are guys I've admired for a long time. It's, it's interesting, James and I are gonna make a movie after this that's a completely straight drama about murder. And now we're doing this movie, which is completely absurd and funny and, you know. So to me, I think that's kind of a cool thing to have two actors play off each other in one complete way and then in another complete way in a different film. And yeah, Danny's a guy I've admired. Eastbound and Down's my favorite show on TV. Craig Robinson is a brilliant guy. Jay and Seth I've worked with before. But uh, yeah, it was, it was completely exciting. It kind of feels like going to like a college reunion or a high school reunion or something like that, making this movie. I think they're amazing directors. They're always kind of filmmakers, even early on in their writing, and they, their movies have a very Seth and Evan feel to them, even if they weren't the directors of, their, of the, that particular movie. And I think it's natural that they would do it. I know Seth's been into photography for so long, and I have to say Brandon, our DP, and everyone, they, they, they're creating a really big action-y kind of great aesthetic look to the film that is bigger and badder than, than any comedy I've seen in a long time go. It's really cool and, and bold and unique. And they're, they're, they're really great directors. For me, it's exciting because it's rare to get a bunch of people who used to be unemployed together that now are really successful or, or have other jobs or something that usually prevents them from being together a lot, and get to be in the same place together for three months. I found that to be a really beautiful thing that, that Seth and Evan were able to put all these people together and get everyone to be together and make something cool and make art together. And that's, that to me is what sometimes I'll look around and go, wow, you know, today Paul Rudd was here, Michael Sarah is here, and Siegel and Rihanna and Emma Watson and all of us and Franco and Danny and me and Seth and and all these people who do all these amazing things and 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 he can he and Evan have brought everyone together to make it something cool that they're passionate about and that's really hard to do and really cool that they did that. I just I'm lucky I get to be you know around all these people that make me laugh and make me have fun. The movie is obviously, it's a very broad, laugh out loud comedy, very fun, and, uh, but it is about the end of the world. And there's lots of, you know, I'd say co really cool aesthetic action and uh, disaster pieces that Seth and Evan have integrated into the film. And I think their love of comic books and all of that kind of graphic novel, comic book world really plays into their aesthetic eye and how good they can visually shoot those things beyond just a comedic version of it, a very cool looking version of it.